Today I'm talking to educators, school teachers, librarians, volunteers, camp counselors. If you're doing the hard work of inspiring people to learn, then today I want to talk to you about makerspaces. You've heard a lot about makerspaces lately, and you may even know about one in your town, but you probably still have questions like, what even is a makerspace? And what part could it play in my school, camp, or after school program? Makerspaces are modern workshops where students can create projects they're passionate about in an environment that fosters and encourages learning through experimentation. Studies have shown that this kind of hands-on experimentation leads to a deeper learning experience. When used correctly, makerspaces can inspire cross-disciplinary projects that are tied to established educational standards. But in order to be successful, makerspaces need to be planned and constructed with a purpose in mind. A makerspace doesn't have to be a huge expenditure. In fact, they can take many forms from a mobile cart loaded with crafting supplies to a room full of computers, tools, and tables. Makerspaces are a combination of a traditional lab, an art room, a shop, a conference room. Anywhere that hands-on learning takes place and people are encouraged to collaborate can be a makerspace. The biggest barrier to introducing these spaces on campus is simply not knowing where to start. But we've got you covered. Download our white paper on how to plan and build a successful makerspace published on EdWeek for a more in-depth discussion on integrating makerspaces with your educational program. Also, browse our resources at sparkfuneducation.com where you can find curriculum, kits, and materials to make your new makerspace successful. Finally, celebrate that success through our online learning community at invent.sparkfun.com. As a STEM professional, I can personally attest to the value of spaces that encourage free exploration. For me, it was a combination of shop, technology, science, and art classes that formed a web of concepts that now are fundamental to my professional skill set. It was a few talented and exceptional teachers who encouraged me to synthesize all of these skills together on my own because there wasn't a space that was designed to foster that. But makerspaces turn every student into a creator. As John Dewey stated in Democracy and Education, give the pupils something to do, not something to learn. And the doing is of such a nature as to demand thinking, and learning naturally results.